Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6, followed by d5. Is the main move to go for the center. This happens to be day 100 for chess yard as well. Uh, I haven't missed a video uh, any of the days so far. Touch wood, and I hope I continue it. So bishop comes on f5. Developing the bishop is important before closing the pawn chain. Uh, taking is one option or just proceed with the pawn. Let's proceed with the pawn. Probably won't take. Yep, doesn't. Till ups the knight rather. Can offer him bishop exchange if he's looking forward to it. The bishop gets still up in the process. All right. You can actually take this, I don't mind. Okay, the opponent opens on the H file, so would be handy for him to attack. Uh, probably I can develop the knight. Okay, he closes the pawn chain. And whenever that happens, you have to break it open as soon as possible. That's what I'm looking forward to. If now comes B4, then the best move in this situation is to play A5. Or the opponent can take or play something else which will lose the pawn. So yeah, that's what he does as expected. And I'll go for a five this time. Pressure, pressurizing the b4 again. Uh, we can definitely take this and take the rook next. Take the pawn, the opponent takes two. And here we can castle now. Just trying to be solid. Knight can make its way throughout the journey. Now knight here and then here it makes sense. I'll take with the bishop so that it's always eyeing the king side just in case the open castles. Okay, he comes there. So I have to defend the pawn. So queen comes to c7 dark squares because that would be helpful don't mind coming back if the opponent wants to take he can and since he did now i'll not spoil my pawn structure like that i'll first give a check sorry not with the pawn but with the queen and as soon as i do that he has to move the king now i can take this with the pawn or I can take with the queen. So let's take with the queen. Uh, or queen can even come here and give another check. Hmm, that's interesting. But then he goes here and there's no follow up. So let's take first. Without spoiling the pawn structure. Ah, a bishop here, he loses the pawn. That comes with a check. So he first saves the pawn. So now definitely he's planning to play that. We can come here, eyeing the pawn, just in case he tries to pressurize the h7 there. Okay. Just go back. Not an issue at all. Okay, he plays pawn forward. The knight is pretty helpless, but yeah, let's first break this open up. I don't want these pawns to be hanging around my king forever. Okay, he's attacking the knight, but and also threatening queen takes. So I have to be a bit careful. I can proceed with the pawn as well. Hmm. That closes the queen diagonal. Probably g6 closes everything. Yep, let's close everything. 
and probably rook to f7 will always make sure that h7 is protected. It's not required to do anything fancy here. I'll just play get queen into activity. Okay, he goes back. Let's go with the knight. Want to exchange if he is looking forward to it. If he doesn't, I'll hop in to b4. Let's see what's up in the list. Looking forward to it here. Okay, he gets the bishop. I will definitely attack the bishop with the knight. I'm going here as well for a check. Okay, he goes back. I can still go with the check maybe. Or here. Uh, no, let's go here. The idea is after I give a check, I'm probably attacking the e3. That might be weakened. Okay. I think I should just get my pieces more active. Okay, a check would help. Let's see if he is willing to take with the bishop. Probably not. I wouldn't have done that. He's pawned down already. But then rook is coming for the mighty hunt. This should be crashing for the opponent. So what we can do here is probably come here. This is so that we can probably win exchange. OK, he goes there. I can still go with a check. But then if king here, I'm not doing much. So let's defend the situation first. Protecting the pawn. Now we can give a check. Next move. I still can. Hmm. Let's give a check. Okay, let's give another. And go here. I have to be careful with this, otherwise this can be deadly. Now it's not deadly. What is it? Let's close the rook file first. Rook is not going to the end now. So it was important to close. Okay, this is completely fine. I can go up now. No issues. I am threatening to take on e3 next. Can it be defended? I doubt. And once I take it, it's all over. All over. It'll fall down like anything from there. Okay, I can still take. He can take the knight. I take this, goes down, another check, another check, um, okay, have this as well, let's use it, goes up. I'll give a check from here this time. He has to be careful. Okay. Okay. Here. Check. Loses the rook. And he resigns because that was completely losing from there. He couldn't have saved the checkmate anyway. So yeah, a nice game. As you see, uh, the Kavakan working out pretty well. 
the hundredth video on Jesse Ad. This is going to be uploaded. So let's see how it went. Started off at d4. I responded with c6. Bishop comes on f4. I played c5, the best move. And then the bishop comes on f5. So pretty standard moves. And then you play e6, completing your pyramid in the center. Knight comes on c3. You try to exchange the bishop. Uh, he goes back. Yeah, I can develop the knight, but I thought of taking the bishop first and then develop the knight. So just reversing the move out of there. And yes, whenever opponent plays c5 and it's too early and you can always play pawn to b6 to break it open. And if b4, I prefer playing a5. And here he doesn't take, but I opened the situation. After he takes, I take exchange the rooks. Take on the c5. Opponent takes back and I castle. So it's a drawing situation from here, as you see, because exchanges have happened. Pawn structures are pretty strong. I offer him the knight exchange, which he does take. I take back the bishop. He comes ahead with the knight attacking the c6, which is defended with the knight. But then if queen comes here, probably will can cause some troubles. Uh, so I rather went with queen to c7, defending the knight as was the pawn. He plays f3, which was always weakening, uh, not let not exchanging the dollar piece that I had. I got it back on uh, g6. He takes now uh, the with the knight. And yes, correctly, I took on the pawn first, giving a check. And after he goes, oh, computer saying you can open up the f file. But that weakens up the e6. Uh, so I thought of playing with the queen itself. And then he played the knight right move, which was g4. Otherwise, if he tries to kick my, sorry, uh, if he tries to kick my queen, uh, he loses the pawn. So that was another threat. Uh, so he saw that coming, played g4 instead. I responded with queen to f6. Uh, he plays f4 there. I go back on e7. Then he responds with g5. I went with f6, trying to break open the situation. He doesn't take. Why is this an advantage if he takes? But if he takes, I would have probably taken with the queen. What's, what's bothering? Okay, this is coming. But then I can play, of course, the g6 there. Oh, he can pin my knight. Then that's not even a pin, but it's actually going to take on the pawn. Uh, and I, I can't actually do that as well. My pieces are not that active. Maybe that's why. But if queen here, okay, he's doubling up the pressure on the knight, which I can also safeguard. And then what? Oh, rook comes in and then you can't save it. Because if you go down, you will lose uh, the pieces there. Okay, he cannot. He should not take, but just go up, forcing me to take, or he's going for some checks. That's nice. So that could have been problematic, but luckily he didn't do that. And I played f5 next, trying to close that situation. He goes on the other side of the board, trying to break open from the edge, but that was never going to happen. Um, so I just played g6, solidifying my situation, and then there's some queen maneuvers, trying to get queen active, then the knight, he doesn't take, so I go ahead with the knight. Uh, and then with the queen, with the idea of threatening e3 sometime, give him a check, he didn't take. I can, yeah, attack the bishop, but bishop can just go back, so I didn't see any much points there. Uh, then he tries to attack the h7, rook to f7, defends it. And then some checks, trying to um get my rook active then he tries to attack yes i defended with the knight but on the wrong square as for the computer okay but queen to f1 was unlikely to be seen that's a computer move not a human move i would say it doesn't help anything uh so knight comes to b2 trying to defend and then yes rook comes to a3 perfect move there he gets the bishop in between i take he takes on the knight i take on the pawn it's mate in four from here, okay. I just had to push him forward, backwards again. Okay, move in, mate in three. Yes, only one square remaining and that's mate, ah, okay. Got that. Should have seen that maybe, but in the game I tried to just play on with the checks, take on some bonds and simplify some of the stuff. And some continuations there. 
got the queen on the other side, then a fork came, he lost the rook, and that was making four from there as well. So yeah, a nice game that ended well in my favor. I hope you liked the video. If you did, then do like it on YouTube as well. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and keep coming back daily, as always. And I hope it's a fun time learning uh, chess with me. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.